Kati, ma studenti va fe, ingati tu va somessa, omo somo, okwa mateka, okubanga, muta ambula no kumanya, na tu gena kuta andika, ne chitu undu cha fe, e chyo kubiri, morolimi, orizongu, morolwe chyo, na tu andike, ne chitu undu cha fe, e chyo orizongu, Mwalimi, mwalizungu. Oha, msomesa, na gina kutandika, nchitundu, echo kubiri, mwalimi, mwalizungu. Okay. So, today, we are going to start with our second session of the road signs. The first session we ended on number 12. So I'm going to proceed from number 13. So let me start with number 13. So with number 13, it shows a dual carriage ends. So when you see this road sign, it's showing you that this way from because we are reading these road signs from down going up so it was they were two different roads and and in front it it joined it to be one so therefore here what you have to do is to avoid stopping in the junction then secondly you should avoid the overtaking you shouldn't panic here because it's easy to collide then number 14 this one is a dual carriage ahead, so it's showing you that it is from down, it is one way, and when it reaches in front here, they divide into two. So therefore, you should be you should be aware of where you should be heading. It is becoming a one way. Therefore, if you are using left, I expect it to be on the left side. Number fifteen. Two-way traffic. This shows you that the road that takes you is the same road that brings you back. Therefore, you can have your turns here. Then, number 16, this one shows danger ahead. So with this, it determines of where you have seen it. If it's just a signpost in the road, then therefore you should be careful of where you are going. Expect some dangers. That means you should reduce speed. First notice of the situation, what is it warning you about before you do what? Before you go speed. Then, number five, number 17. With number 17, it shows us height restriction. Height restriction, this one is showing you that the height that you shouldn't exceed. If your vehicle exceeds this height, therefore it doesn't fit there. So you may find this on the basement seat basements of parking Z or even the flyovers they are indicated with this so if yours is is more than this it can't fit there uneven road uneven road these are the small humps which are nearby so therefore every time you see a hump you should know one thing that should be done is reducing speed so i expect you to reduce speed after the hump is when at least you can continue to the maximum then, number 19, this is a hump, and this one is one but big. So, the way you reduce on the first one is again different from the way you should reduce here, because this is more big than this one. So here, you should reduce very much. So they are, it can be put maybe expecting people in front and it needs a reduction, or there are some other dangerous things or hazards in front. So when you see this, you should reduce very much than the first one then the drift the drift is our number 20 when you see this it's showing you that there is a small tunnel connecting from maybe the left to the right according to the structure of, of the road if it's sloping on the right that means it's from left to right so this one is made in the road to cross the water from the other ends to the other ends so when you find this sign it's always before you reach there. So I expect you to reduce such that you don't splash water on the people passing by and even to avoid your vehicle from going deep inside to damage the bumper. 
So I expect you to reduce speed here. With number 21, this is a narrow bridge. And with the narrow bridge, I don't expect you to overtake. Since it's narrow, it won't be able to support three lines. So you should be patient. However much you are in a hurry, you should move slowly. Then, with number 22, it's a rose grove. These rose grove, these are like stones. Or they had the small hard cores. They might be in a road. And when you see such a sign, you should be careful with the distance you are giving your opponent. Every time you see it, you should make sure that you are far away from the opponent. Because in starting, in starting, the tires may slip off. And when they slip off, the stones may hit the windscreen. So, I expect you to do it. I expect you to keep distance. Then, when you are starting off your car, I don't expect you to, re to place the accelerator at once. You should go slowly by slowly to avoid the tire from slipping off, damaging the behind people. Then, number 23, this is a slippery road. When you see this, I expect you, if your car has a four-wheel drive, you can engage it in to avoid the vehicle from over slipping off the road. Then, if it's an automatic car, you can use the L, the DL, the drive L, at least in such a situation, to give the car more energy to pass in such a place. Number 24, these are falling rocks. When you see this, I expect you to be aware that there are some stones which are always, or they might be stones, it might be dust, and even they might be rocks. So if you see this, I don't expect you to park there because they are expected to fall at any time. Then I don't expect you to go speed when you see this because they might have fallen at night and it might be of instant when you see one. So you should be careful with this. You should reduce speed. Avoid overpack, avoid, avoid sorry, parking here. Then with our number 25, it's a steep descent. It's showing us that it's a very, it's a very high slope. So when you see this slope, I expect you before you reach there, you should have already reduced speed, not being like it is accidental. You didn't know of it. So I expect you to reduce speed. If it's a manual car, you might use the gears as you use the brake slowly. If it's an automatic car, you should use your brake slowly. Then, with the 26, it's a steep ascent. This is a strong hill, a very big hill. So when you see this, if it's a manual car, it's better you move in gear number one. Because if you change them, again, it might be a problem if you are not sure of how to, again, disengage them. So, at least you use one till the ascent is done. Then, if it's an automatic car, you can use L to overcome the, 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 the hill. Then, with 27, it's showing us that there is a river bank, or it can be a quarry in front. So, therefore, I don't expect you to go in such a place, because always water is collected here when it rains. So, you may stuck inside the water. So, avoid this place. Number 28. Low flying, air, low flying aircraft. This is showing you that they are planes, so you have reached the airport. You should prepare by raising up your wind, wind, window mirrors and maybe even preparing for the sound you are going to do what you are going to hear from these planes. Let it not be at a shocking when you hear the sound instantly. So you should prepare for this.